all of the videos which I have released to the public now are those which pertain to matters that are very important to the public and they're not just very important to me or people who agree with me or think the way I do. They're really important to everyone because I only discuss things that if those things are true, then there are going to be very important consequences. And anytime that's the case, uh, ignoring the truth of those things has a set of consequences that are very perilous. Whereas paying attention to the case uh, where those things are concerned and then making the right decision based on knowing the truth is the only way to avoid those perilous consequences for people who have the ability to do so. For people for whom there is no capacity to understand what I say or, or, or agree with it to the point that it's even comprehensible or tolerable at all, then this is not for them. They should not even be in the audience. Therefore, by implication, I, uh, I only attract to myself an audience which I think is capable of understanding what I'm saying and willing to put up with uh, my views and especially in some of the ways that I express them. Uh, if, they're, if, if, if that's not too out of step with their spirit, then that proves to me that there's someone who is, if actually that kind of person, then probably someone I wouldn't mind telling these things to. But, but to everyone else, uh, you should just go your own way. And, and don't don't be any further part uh, of the audience. Uh, don't 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 be there at all. Um, and if that means that this is going through an, a troll topology, or if somehow whether the trolls know or don't know, or the audience that's allowed to get through the whitelisting topologies, which block me on YouTube and perhaps the entire internet, if they are witting or unwitting participants in that audience. Um, then the only way that I can address them further if they're the witting members of that audience is to say especially to them that you're cursed. That, that really, you, to, be, be, to be pulling this sort of prank on a person for any reason is to commit an act of war. And to commit an act of war against a good man is to be cursed by your own evil actions. Your evil actions have cursed you and I address this to you specifically. Now, to the unwitting members of such perfidies, um, you're, of course, only judged by uh, those aspects of your decision-making in your life which caused you to fall into such situations so that your fate is somewhat directed beyond your autonomy and by wittingly evil people. You should realize that you have become their subjects and stop serving them inadvertently uh, to say nothing of advertently because then you would be as evil as they are uh, but 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 to be a little bit evil is still to be evil and people must own up to all the little ways that they participate in these kinds of subtle forms of fraud and coercion which totally permeate society psychotronics being one among them and there are many others Alex Jones talks about many of them. David Icke talks about many of them. Um, there are others who've addressed many of them. Uh, there are some pretty glaring ones that even the, the, the candidate who most of us would reasonably like to see president, uh, Donald Trump, that he's able to bring into the discussion, which actually defy the status quo political discussion and debate. So even there, he's he had to... He had to basically break through a barrier of insulation or a kind of firewall that was in place to prevent these discussions just to crash through to the point where, oh, everybody could open up to the idea that actually this is a rational discussion that we should be having. Ah, I see. Because of that, that, uh, that pressure against truthful and rational discussion about these matters, we can identify mathematically. The, the vested interests of those who uh, at least appear quite solidly to be against Trump's candidacy to the point that they'll actually uh, uh, 
irrationally destroy their own party structure, the Republican Party, or uh, commit the acts of, of blatant uh, uh, corruption, which are seen in the Democratic uh, nominees' uh, ongoing uh, election process, because they're they're going to pre-elect one of the candidates and then still pretend that they're having a meaningful debate. How can this possibly go meaningfully for the for the people who are wanting to vote for Bernie Sanders if his position is the best one? When even if it is the best one, and all almost all the people in the party would would prefer him to be their candidate, Hillary's practically already won it. And even if they were to win, they would have to win uphill the whole way and stomach that. What does that tell you about what's really going on in this process? And of course, in fact, all that matters is that it's not Trump to them. So, in fact, you could even, aside from thinking of the issues of how many Democrats switch over to the Republican vote just to get away from that nonsense and have a chance at a sensible person being elected president who's not establishment, Trump, and aside from the fact that even some Hillary, former Hillary supporters have done that, and aside from the fact that the GOP is tearing itself apart and making a complete hypocritical mess of itself in order to go against their primary nominee, uh, the most no nominatable of their candidates, it's, it's, it's just stunning to the mind. It, it opens up a vista where I can imagine uh, Ted Cruz and Hillary Clinton uh, ticket. I mean, why not just have uh, Hillary Clinton run as uh, vice president to Ted Cruz? Or she could be president and he could be vice president. Why not? Makes perfect sense. That's the outcome that we're going to get out of this. And then one of them just, uh, one of them will abscond from their office and allow the other one to replace or be replaced by another candidate. And, and, but when, whenever it actually, whenever, whenever they actually go into office. So in fact, what you've got is a meaningless array of decisions being offered as a sensible election process for, for putting people in offices of authority, which are already in their institutional manifestations thoroughly corrupt. But now there's an election process which guarantees the worst possible worlds for any candidate that would be selected for those offices. So it's just, they're telling you, you can't even have a good facade anymore. You have to take, you have to take the crap head on. No icing on the crap cake. Just eat it. That's what they're saying. And, and the fact that people don't clearly, consciously see that in the whole picture, the only see little shafts of light of this truth just shows how fragmented meaningful human communication has been made and, and, and education has been stunted to the point that most people would be unsavable. If it, if it was just in terms of Socratic definitions of good and evil, most people could never be freed of their ignorance at this point. And then when you understand how psychotronics is literally involved in this process, and almost not discussed except uh, except by a few, and and by some only in the most um, let's just say uh, non syndicated ways. They have to syndicate themselves on YouTube, and they're probably whitelisted from being seen by most people, or or, or buried under the top comments uh, process, which I think is not even optional now in any video. Top comments, and then you have to hit it to make it recent comments. So certain types of comments are always kept out of view if they're not top comments. Whereas at least with the recent comment as uh, uh, ordering as the as the um, as the uh, what I want to say status quo uh, as the default, then in that case uh, you at least get a, every every comment gets at least a chance of being seen. I mean, imagine if you were in a chat room which used this principle of of, of posting comments. I mean, communication is being destroyed right in front of people, and they're not tangibly complaining, or their complaints are being whitelisted, and they don't even realize it.
because whitelisting lets you see your own comment, but doesn't let anyone else or certain other ones not see your comment. It's like that. And you might not see their reply, even if they see their reply. So it could be made more or less one way. Depends on how far you want to go with that. Or perhaps you'll only see it when they reply, but they won't see your reply. And so you see how complicated these things can get when I talk about internet whitelisting topologies, because there's a logic which can be built into it at various steps of the process of communication because it's binary and closed with respect to perception. You only see your side of it. You don't see the other participant. You see the result in the same format as the result you see from your communication. So it is, it's, it's not even as, as tight a communication group or topology as uh, speaking over the phone. It's just not. Or even smoke signals, really, because at least there are factors which, which would be difficult to artificially duplicate or restrict. Like you can't whitelist someone else's smoke signal, but you can whitelist some images on a screen very easily. Going into the issues of that has forced me to constrict some of my vilest words for a very small audience, which might even be the entire audience, for all I know, given the internet whitelisting white topologies may cycle me through to a pre-configured array of typical mentalities that are going to be against anything I have to say, or trolls, who are wittingly so, and that these topologies may be the norm on the internet, then due to it being a social control grid, <clears throat> several deeper layers of, of black of, of dark internet so it you know if that's the case and it probably is then uh you know i just have a whole lot of cursing to do with them but in the rare case where there's actually a good and true person on the other end of this communication signal then therefore i i, I try to enrich those people with educational uh, videos that um, in some way inform them how better to understand issues or topics pertaining to philosophy, Gnostic religion, logic, um, current ev events and current issues from the point of view of someone who is definitely in good faith and definitely interested in the truth. I'm only interested in the truth. I'm not interested in telling lies or inciting people to believe things. I present my uh, the case for what I call truth by forms of argument. See, some aspects of these arguments I also teach people about cannot be understood by those who would disagree. But that's really just a feature of their epistemology. Those who can understand some of what I'm saying and really understand it, I explain to them why their understanding implies their agreement and why their ability to agree in those particular ways is an expression of their understanding. They can understand that logic, which is an epistemological position that I describe in my epistemology videos, which are maybe viewable by everyone in the public, maybe not. I made it publicly viewable. I published it to the public. Not just to myself and 30 trolls at a fusion center somewhere um, who are scum and whose souls are definitely condemned to going straight to hell. That's where you're going. Just to let you know that. Now, to the important matters. Uh, other than just those that can be uh, definitely understood vis-a-vis -vis the evil actions of the world, but restricting ourselves more now to um, an understanding of the logical structure, which is often employed in discussing the world and which will be employed in a special way in the particular part of the world that I'll be addressing in the Praxeology series of videos and also in the Axiology videos, which are still forthcoming before going to the praxeology. And so in order to better understand how those, the apparatus of discussion is, uh, which is used there, and, uh, and understand better how it's being used and why in that way, 
the, the basics of logic need to be discussed and understood uh, that are used. And, and one important area is implications.